we've looked at images and we've looked at text and now let's look at having them interact with each other through a thing called text wrapping. So I have my um, text that I made before and I have my image that I had before. And if I just simply did this right, well, now the image is just on it. There's nothing happening. Just like Illustrator, right, I can I can use my, my command shift left and right brackets to send my picture to the front and back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the front here um, because obviously we're not going to want the image to go over that. We're going to want to have the, the image um, kind of stay away from the, the text, stay away from the image. Um, and we do that through something called text wrapping. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make this just a slight smaller um, so that we can see this in action. So text wrapping, you place it on the image itself. And we need to bring up the text wrapping palette. So let's go to Window, uh, Text Wrap. And with this, you'll see that you have a bunch of options. Right now, the option selected is No Text Wrap. And now actually, um, in the quick bar, they'll live up here. I find it easier to use the palette. Um, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to change it. I'm going to say um, Wrap Around the Bounding Box. And now you see that the text has actually spun around. Now this is terrible. You would never want to make text that you make someone jump through the image. So likely you'd want it to be something like, like this, right? Where, where the image is kind of that top left. I'm, I'm trying to even the space here. Now, again, just like in the text frame options, this is bad when we have things bouncing up against each other. So what we'd want to do is use these, um, these kind of offsets. And so when we do this, and right now it's it's linked to all of them, so I'm adding it everywhere at the same time, right? We can change it so that we get that space different. You always have to watch things like this, because like this thing, I would probably go ahead and unlink it and make my smaller one, hope that it gets it through there. There we go. So that that text, um, you know, isn't have a weird space trapped in there. Um, and that'll stay on there. As I move this around, the, the text will reflow, and obviously, things you have to worry about this is always like trapping words and things like that. You never want someone to read through the image. You want them to go ahead and, and turn back and, and do that. So um, there's even more options that we can do, right? There's, um, there's this fourth one, jump object. And so you see here, what I have is, is the, the text lines actually jump around. So that's a good one. Um, there's this one that really wouldn't work for this image. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this image and I'm going to place another image. I'm going to place, I, I got uh, from our, our uh, Photoshop Chimera intro, uh, the penguins, and they're knocked out, right? So there's all these transparent pixels. And so let's say I want that text to wrap around these guys. That's where I'd use something like this, wrap around object shape. And so when I click it, you notice it's still going to this bounding box. That's because, um, look down here, you have these wrap options, um, or Ah, I just unclicked it. So so type same as clipping. So if I had a real honest clipping mask, um, in, in graphic design, you would use the pen tool to make clipping masks. But we're going to do it with um, something called the alpha channel. So if I say alpha channel, notice then it's saying, hey, anything that's uh, transparent, go ahead and um, just go ahead and, and wrap the text there. So you see now I have my Penguins there, same thing. Now with this, you don't have the option of doing every side because it doesn't, you know, it's too complex. So they just let you put the same amount on, you know, all the way around your penguins, right? So again, right here, I trapped this word. We don't want that. So I just went ahead and fixed it. Um, so it's like that. Um, and so that's, I, I realize I've been in W mode the whole time, but that's okay. Um, right, that is, is using text flow. Now, if I wanted my text for some reason to ignore, the text wrap, that's where in the text, like say I wanted to add another piece of text like a caption or something like these are penguins. Um, yeah, good spelling. And I put it over it. Notice it kind of gets like pushed around, but I wanted that text to be there so I can actually ignore it. Bring up the text frame options and, and say, tell this text frame to ignore the text wrap and see, so now it is, um, it is totally seeable if it was at a better color, right? So you see I can override that. Once, once I put that there, all text will, will uh, be affected by the text wrap unless you tell the text that it can't be affected by the text wrap. So that is about text wrapping in InDesign. Go ahead and try to put a text wrap in yourself.